So hi, my name is Linda Walton. I'm Associate University Librarian here at the University Libraries. And um, I've been in this position for 12 years. And in the last six months, I've been working um, with the collections. Electronic resources from last, gosh, 10, 20 years have been charging us inflation rates of up to 5% and sometimes even more um, for our subscriptions every year. So we've, we've managed to find funds through, you know, moving funds around um, all these years. And we've had some increases um, from the university um, to help us meet those needs, but, but we're at the point now where we can't sustain that any longer. So um, we have to, we have the, the cut that we're making, the $600,000, is the amount of money that we need to cover the inflation factor for next year. For this, it will be the sciences will be the most affected because they are so reliant on um, subscription journals in particular for their research, and we have so much money invested in those mm -hmm. that it'll impact them the most. So we will work with them to help them find alternative resources. Sometimes, you know, maybe we cancel one journal. There may be something that, that would work for them in, in another journal. Hi, my name is Nicholas Bartusik, and I'm a sophomore at the University of Iowa majoring in computer science and engineering. When I heard the science department was going to have the most serious budget cuts, I was a little worried because I know from previous classes how important some of the journals are for understanding concepts in the class. I just hope the cuts are made strategically and will not hinder my education compared to previous students who had these materials at their disposal. Well, I guess I would just say, you know, the students, um, particularly the undergraduate students, you know, shouldn't be too concerned. I mean, we have enough, I think, of the general resources that they tend to use, and, and, and we'll have that, you know, we're talking about things that are going pretty far into specialization, and so I think, you know, undergraduate students will be fine.